hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from araku tv and it's titled when delusional when delusional woke people get owned you guys i'm excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about give me one good reason caitlin clark can't play in the nba Height, weight, speed, vertical, agility, strength. Caitlin Clark would not be able to play for her own men's basketball team, let alone an NBA team. Simples. Can men get pregnant? Oh, I am. You're pregnant? Mm -hmm. You are? Yeah. How about oh, a yeah. congratulations? Instead of laughing at me, you could say, like, congrats or something. Congratulations. I'm sorry. Thank you. So how far along are you? Two weeks. How do you know you're pregnant after two weeks? My stomach's been growling more than usual, so... And me and him had... Oh, pause. So I think... Yeah. I think that's where it came from how long have you guys been together two weeks yeah oh we were like a one yeah. night stand i was finna dip but i was like that's my kid i'm finna stay so. that's <laughs> really noble this of is you funny. we need more of that more i know we need like more you. black fathers how do you know stuff. you don't just have cramps no i have a kid too so this is the second time this happened so the first time you had a kid you felt like you yeah i felt the same sensation i'm feeling now okay and where did the kid come out of my what did he say you. when you ask a big question right? you get stupid answers no. You're right. Our kid's gonna be straight well, A so student and gonna be on the basketball team, so. Yeah, the next LeBron James. <laughs> Slash Yao Ming. That's that kind of obvious, is that, right? Yeah, is that funny or something? No, no, you're right. Our kid's gonna be black and ease, too. He's gonna be a straight well, A so student funny, and gonna be on the basketball team, so. Yeah, the next LeBron James. <laughs> Slash Yao Ming. What a beautiful, liberal, non-binary, interracial couple. And I can't wait to see what that baby does in the WNBA. Um, This is a queer fat club. Um, I'm, I'm queer and fat. Okay, thank you for joining. We're just um, introducing ourselves at the moment. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, Joe? Yeah, uh, my name's Joe. I go by he, they, and uh, I identify as 275 pounds. Okay, okay. Um, I feel like Jay's kind of making fun of me, though. I know it's kind of a shock. I know, kind of a new thing. I'm, I'm just, you know, monk. Do what? I said I apologize. Oh, no, you're good. Um, are you comfortable leaving the group at the moment? Why? Why? I'm, I'm not understanding why you're joining the group. This is the queer and fat group now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I came here for. Okay. Um, and you said you identify as fat? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is just for fat bodied people. Yeah, I understand. I, I identify as a fat bodied person. I'm not understanding where you're coming from. Are you guys comfortable with me here? I mean, I'm pretty chill on my end. I'm not comfortable, no. <laughs> Can we take like a vote? Someone tell this kid not to worry. It's clear that he's a beautiful plus size queer woman mm -hmm. and they're just jealous. Yeah. And I know exactly how this feels because I was recently rejected by the lesbian Asian Facebook group. Don't know why. No, when people yeah. say they're offended, just because you're offended, it doesn't mean you're right. It's offense is about feelings and feelings are personal some people are offended by equality so what you can't second guess people if you try and please everyone you'll please no one you know you can't legislate against stupidity otherwise you'll be doing nothing and freedom of speech is so important these days I i've reached the age now where i don't care anymore <laughs> it's a, to not to joke about all the bad things that's a waste because that's exactly what we should joke about it gets if you can laugh in the face of adversity you're bulletproof also why do all these donuts are claimed to be offended by comedians and opposite opinions watch things that they exactly. don't need to watch Watch. No one's forcing mm -hmm. you to watch Ricky Gervais's comedy show or Dave Chappelle's comedy show. Mm -hmm. Go and watch something else. Yes, go and watch a woke comedian or whatever. Doesn't exist. You can't go around apologizing for jokes. They're jokes. So I've got a plan. The next time I get cancelled over a joke, the next time I upset people with a joke, I'm going to come out on the day of the cancellation. I'm going to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> And the people that I've offended will say, you don't really mean that apology. And I'll say, so you're saying, could say something and not mean it. Now you're getting it. <laughs> gotcha. Exactly. What do you think about white men? I think it's just the term white man, just immediate turn off. What do you think of black men? Love. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's racist wow. to, by default, not like white men? I mean, I don't think so because I think there's a difference between like racism and dis- or that's- that's an interesting question. You don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. That's an interesting She's question. Lost. Yeah. Cause like, I mean, I don't dislike, but there is a like a uh, like nervous feeling. I don't know. So if you met someone who said that they get nervous around black men and that they've had bad experiences with black men, would you still consider that racist? 
Ooh, yeah, I see your point. <laughs> Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think, dumb. dumb? I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. You know, just to remind you that this donut can vote and have kids. Wow. Even though she's only got about two brain cells to work mm -hmm. with. Whatever the woke brigade tell her to think, then she's going to think it. She's basically a brainless sheep. Which one would you date? An MS-13 gang member or a Trump supporter? Why, you guys? Can someone please help me to interpret what that lady is talking about because i'm totally lost and as for the first guy or the second guy in this video who identifies as fat i totally love that guy because if people can come out to identify as whatever they want i don't see the reason why the ladies are getting confused with his identity because it is very clear that he identifies as fat and that is on period let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up you guys or a trump supporter oh uh, gang member give it a gang member so i'm gonna go ms13 <sighs> yeah probably ms13 member ms13 ms13 all the way neither <laughs> I'll stay single. It's embarrassing that I don't know what an MS-13 gang member is. So the MS-13 gang are involved in drug, human smuggling, prostitution, wow. murder and extortion, gaining a reputation for extreme violence. Now I'm not American, but I do know a few Donald Trump supporters mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure they're not doing any of those things. Studies that show that trans women have physical advantage over what I'm going to call cis girls, what you call biological girls in sports. Just taking the time we've spent in this committee hearing today, we have only been referring to this whole debate, males infiltrating into women's sports. If the argument is that males don't possess advantages over females, then why haven't we spent any time talking about or worrying about women entering men's sports? It's because everyone in this hearing room knows that that's not what we're referring to. Anyone with a brother knows the advantages that males possess over females. So I feel as if the evidence is evident, you look at any sport. Let's take the basketball. The three-point line is a different distance. The size of the ball is smaller. The amount of layups you see in women's basketball compared to dunks. Men's volleyball. The, the net is seven and a half inches higher than the women's net. I could keep going. If there's no advantages, then why sports always being separated by gender? And like she said, why do you never see a woman identifying as a man to compete against the men? Because they'll get fucking mm. smoked. That's why. What are your pronouns? Pronouns? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> what are my pronouns? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Alright, cut real quick. I'm that man. Risk taker. Hustler. Pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Point of view, you're about to hear the worst opinion ever. It's facts! It's facts! It's not facts, these sizes are not facts. So I've seen this one YouTube dumbbell that says, Charlie Cook Kirk believes that TikTok is turning children trans. Do you agree with the statement? TikTok is playing a role in making them think that they might have gender identification issues. This is Chloe Cole. She's a detransitioner. In my experience, I learned about transgenderism through the internet at roughly about the age of 11 or 12. And I mean, it captivated me. I had body image issues and it felt like I found the explanation for as to why I felt so different from the women around me. Social media in general led you to believe the wrong idea and that in turn it made you go down a path that maybe wasn't right for you. I mean, it's beyond not right for me. This has left permanent effects on my body. I might not be able to have children. I have complicated from the puberty blockers, the testosterone, and the surgery. That's three correct. years after I've stopped taking all of them. I'm very suspicious about. Okay, but I understand. Are you calling her a liar? No. Are you sure about that? I'd like to say that you're wrong about trans people being indoctrinated. I've met hundreds of other detransitioners, some even younger than I was, and have come out of it with trauma that they're left with for life. Sterile. I don't lose sleep over this guy trying to change his gender or his identity or whatever he wants to do. But if I was going to put myself through such major changes, then I'd want to listen to all points of view, not just the people that are telling me it's a good idea, but also the people that have done it and say they regret it. Does it? Yeah. Where where is socialism work? Where is socialism worked? You pay your income tax. Income tax is not socialist. It's not. No. Well, I think it's way too high, isn't it? Yeah, but. It's Socialism is where everybody pays in. Do you give more than what the government asks you to give each year? Yeah, I do. I you do? Give a lot. You give more to the government? Yeah. So you give more than what the IRS asks you to give? Good for you. You do? Uh -huh. Congratulations. You played yourself. Do you see this person next to me? He is my friend. 
Zia has had to put up with a lot to get to where Purr is today. I just want to let Glint know that Thon is valid. Shut up, you know what you sound like? You sound like, um, like a DJ. Wiki, 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 wiki. You know what I'm talking about? Wiki, wiki, fresh. Of course. Absolutely not, man. Thanks so much. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot really to say, you really need to stop three, drinking two, Coke Zero on stream. Why? It's boycott. Wait, is it? You're um, preaching pro Palestine and you're drinking all this boycott stuff. Please, Thank you. <laughs> at least pretend. Do it off stream. Oh, please okay, I'll put, it in, I'll put it in a glass. <laughs> is Pepsi okay? No! Is it? Okay. No soda, sir. I didn't know. I didn't know it was like that. <laughs> Xbox. At all, you, you can't make it all. Up. Touch me. This is the only. This is the only. Topic that this is the group that's saying that we're Christian. What's wrong with you? Please don't touch me. Get the back. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Please do not touch me. I don't think this has got anything to do with being trans, gay, straight, white, black, whatever the fuck you are. This is just pure lunacy and they all need Michael. Get some help. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting video from Araku TV and I enjoyed every minute of it. Let me know your thoughts on this particular video and what was your best clip in all of it. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.